Okay, the next one we're going to do is to work on the not stepping out. In the years we've been teaching, we've done everything from the bucket so you don't step in the bucket. We've put some kind of a, maybe a home plate. I've got here a, a, a bat parachute that we're going to place down to Amy's uh, left here to make sure that she can feel something that's soft and doesn't give her a chance of slipping or falling. Uh, I think growing up, I think we've used a, a ladder when I was growing up. A coach is really trying to prove a point, but the point is, you know, being a little bit smarter than I look, we want to make sure that we get to a point where if we're stepping out, it's something that's going to, we, we know it's there, and we know that we're doing it, but we're not going to hurt ourselves. So the point is, if Amy gets in her stance, hey, one of the most common things that we see is that first step after she loads is out, and she's going to step on that bat parachute, and she can recognize it through feel or help the coach help point her out. So she's taking a regular round of batting practice. We've got the pitching machine out in front or a coach is throwing some batting practice. Hey, she's going to get in her stance. She's going to work on taking a good swing here and freeze so that when she swings, that she's not stepping out that parachute, that her first step is going nice and small straight toward the pitcher so that we're not stepping out. That's an easy drill for a beginner. Hey, to make sure that, you know, again, you could use any, any sort of, uh, you know, baseball apparatus, whether it's a, a throw down base, uh, maybe a batting helmet, something that we're not going to step on and hurt ourselves, but just know that it's there.